Hello! Welcome back to the workshop again. Today, Oxbeam has sent us two boxes. Remarkably similar boxes, as they are both H4 bulbs. But this is the new generation and the old generation of LED bulbs. What have we got in this one? Oh, I can see stickers. Oh, yes! Stickers! Who doesn't love stickers? I like stickers. What's in here? Ah, oh, that's your basic how to, how to install. What do you call it? Right, as seen in the previous video, these are the H4 LED bulbs, fan, heatsink, three LED drivers, cob LEDs, uh, H4 three pin connection, two of them, nothing else, quite a nice box. And the other ones must be the new ones. Fitting instructions. Ooh, hello. Okay. So, the first thing is, no fan, which means they're silent. The other ones do whine a little bit when they're in the car. And a newly designed reflector to give a sharper cut on the headlight. So that's uh, three, six, 12. I'm going to assume they are cob modules as well, we'll have to uh, power up and zoom in and count them. Black, good colour, aluminium. It actually feels really cold, which means it's probably been a really good heatsink. It says 4000 lumen, which I think the other ones were 4000 as well. One moment please. Did they say? I'll check a thing, but 4000 lumen seems about right. Right, well, I suppose we should power these up and see how they perform. Right, so on the bulb, you've got your common ground as negative and the low beam and the high beam. So we will plug that in. Common negative, All right, so that should be the low beam. Uh, and if you could actually see what the meters that's one and a half amps at 12.4 volts and that lights up the top one that's got the shield on it on both sides it's pretty bright so if we switch over to the high beam it should do the two un unshielded, we'll go on un the two unshielded sides. It's pretty bright, and I've got my <laughs> welding goggles on, so I can see. It's a nice white light. And that also draws just a smidge under one and a half amps. Okay, here we are in the H4 headlight setup, and on the other wall, We have the metal board, as seen in previous video. Wow, that's like a laser this time. Not like an actual laser, I mean the, the dark area and the bright area. There is a very, very well defined cut this time, like, like, a, like, a, like a laser, like a laser. Right, I've got the new LED on the one on the left and the old style on the one on the right. Both are more or less focused on the board over here. Okay, both together you can see it's just a large pool of light, really. So, using the trusty purple towel of impenetrability, I will block out one of the bulbs. I'll block out the new one first, the newest style of LED. So, that is the original LED shining on the light. Let me just get in the way a moment. So you can see it's got quite a... I was going to say wide beam. Still got a relatively nice cut. See it's bright here, darker here, and then obviously darker down here down the bottom. A nice spread of light. I should mention this is they're both on low beam. Oh, let us get out our trusty light meter. And we are in Lux times 10. So... Bang in the middle there, that's 
600 times them, so that's 6,000 lux in the middle. Down to 170. So 6,000 lux in the middle. Let us blank out that one and switch to the new LED. So this is the new one. You can see it's got a very defined cut on it. So right there, that's six, still the brightness there was just slightly over 6,000 lux. So it's the same brightness, except when you get the dark bit, wow, it does, that's, that's 900 lux. 6,900. 6,900. Let's do the other one again. Six thousand in the middle, six thousand, five thousand, four thousand, three thousand, two thousand. Did I see nine hundred would have to be uh, we we down here well, near off the camera anyway. So you can see there's a much it's got a much broader there's not a nice sharp cut. Which does mean with these other bulbs you will be blinding the other drivers ever so slightly. So, same brightness as the old bulbs, but with a much, much sharper cut line. That's good, that's nice. Let's try high beams. Okay, this is high beams with both bulbs on. I'll blank out the new style LEDs. And you can see that looks pretty much just the same as a low beam, perhaps slightly brighter which we can check with science. 6,600 odds, so it's slightly brighter. And let's check the new ones on high beam. Well, as you can see, compared to the low beam, there's a much bigger spread of light. Three thousand, four thousand odd lux spread about the spread about the board. Not quite as bright as the other ones on full beam. About half as bright as the other ones on full beam. All right, let's get the thermal camera out now and have a look at the temperatures of these bulbs. Okay, LED. The body of the LED is at seventy degrees. And that's with the heatsink and fan. Let's see what the other one does. Okay, the new one's been running for a little while now. And its LED body is hitting 50 to 60 degrees. So it's not a million miles away from the other one. And its heatsink's sitting down around 30 something. Or something, but the actual LED module head bit is up in the 50s, 60s, same as the last one. But there's no fan, so it's not making a noise. The noise is from the power supply. And the light output's the same. How does it compare to the old LED? Same light put output and dipped beam, but with a much sharper cut so you don't dazzle oncoming drivers. Full beam, not just as bright as the other ones. So if you're more prone to driving around with your full beams on and don't really mind dazzling people, choose the older style LED because it gives off more light. But if you are in the city and you just want a nice pure white dipped LED bulb with a nice sharp cut, go for the newer style. Both work as intended. Go and fit them in the car now.